guys, Logan here again with La Master Reef. In my last video, we were talking about uh, controlling nitrates in my reef tank and basically what process I follow to uh, lower them back down to zero with water changes and the likes. I am running bio pellets in this system and uh, I use Dr. Tim's uh, MP Active Pearls. That's the only bio pellets I've ever used. Um, they work for me and uh, so I'll continue to use them. But I had a few tips and tricks for, for people that uh, are wanting to use bio pellets or have tried and been un unsuccessful and uh, I'm hoping you guys will have some feedback, the ones that are using bio pellets out there in the community and let me know if, if you guys have uh, basically seen the same thing with your systems uh, uh, on, the, on the tips and tricks that I'm about to talk about. So I'll uh, give you guys a shot of the tank for a second and uh, then we'll move down to the bio pellet reactor. Hey guys, so I'm down here at my reactor and I run a Reap Dynamics recirculating bio pellet reactor and I believe the recirculation part is uh, is necessary. So that's going to be my tip number one for those of you that are wanting to use bio pellets or have tried them in the past and didn't have any success. I believe a recirculating reactor is is key to success with them. And uh, for those of you that don't know, the recirculation part comes from the fact that I'm pulling water from my sump. It's interacting with the pellets inside my reactor over and over and over again because I'm metering it back to my uh, skimmer inlet slowly. It's just barely going back at a trickle so the water is contained within here and it's tumbling the pellets and interacting giving the pellets time to, to digest the nitrate and turn it into a biofilm that ends up going back to my skimmer and I'm able to pull out of the system therefore lowering my nitrates uh, to zero. So tip number one think about or look into getting a recirculating skimmer. It, I think you will have a lot more success so let's move on to tip number two. Alright guys, the second most important factor to running bio pellets is the tumble rate. If you notice, the pellets at the bottom of my reactor just nearly stand still. I've actually got this thing tumbling them as gently as I possibly can, even letting them stand still for a second. And what this does is it gives the pellets time to do what they're supposed to do. They convert the, the nitrate to a biofilm and that gentle tumble dislodges it and allows it to go back to my skimmer to be skimmed out. And it also is gentle enough that it doesn't dislodge the bacteria and send it back. In the beginning I was running four or five times the amount of pellets that I'm running now and not, and not having any success because my tumble rate was wrong. It was scrubbing off the bacteria and sending it back through. The bacteria wasn't having time to establish it was just completely wrong. Once I figured out the the tumble rate was key, I'm able to actually use what they recommend to use uh, in a dosage of Dr. Tim's pellets. For my system, I, well, I think the recommendation is a quarter cup per 20 gallons. So I have a 60 gallon tank, that's three quarters of a, of a cup of bio pellets, but it also says to start out with a third of that. So basically I have a quarter of a cup of bio pellets in here right now and it's keeping my tank at zero. Will I add some more? Yeah, eventually as they start to dissolve. But uh, for now, with the tumble rate the way it is, it's doing the job. So I think a lot of people are tumbling their pellets too fast that aren't having success, that they aren't working for them. I believe this is the second most important thing to running bio pellets besides having a recirculating reactor which actually allows me to to achieve this low tumble. Alright guys for my third and final tip that I consider uh, really important for being successful with bio pellets uh, it is to seed your pellets with bacteria. In my previous video I had mentioned that I used Seachem Stability and I have used that but this time around I had used Aqua Vitra Seed and what I did was after cleaning my reactor, I added my pellets and then poured Aqua Vitra seed directly in on top of it, the bacteria, to, to colonize my pellets. Then used tank water to uh, finish filling my reactor up and get it primed. But uh, I believe this to be really, really an important thing because if you read on the package, it'll tell you that bio pellets are going to take 
several weeks to get started, and uh, that's true. But if you seed your pellets with bacteria, you will see them working a lot quicker. So these are my tips and tricks for being successful with bio pellets. If anybody has any questions or comments or would like to uh, uh, say in the, in the comment section, you know, if you've seen the same results or if you guys have the same methods, I'd be, uh, I'd be grateful for that. So thanks for watching my video.